This is steer wrestling. It may look like something out of a movie, but these are students practicing as part of the UNL Rodeo Club. Things are happening so fast. I mean, you're going 35 mile an hour to a dead stop on a steer. For senior Bryce Dibbern, steer wrestling is the event that got him to the National College Finals two years in a row. But the rodeo team actually practices many different events, including barrel racing, team roping, and tie-down roping. When the weather is nice, they practice on East Campus, where they also keep and feed their own horses. To feed one of these horses for three weeks costs about $150, but to be on the team for these students is priceless. Just that feeling when you catch and finally succeed because you practice all week for that, all month, all year, and you finally succeeded. And the feeling is just slow-mo and excitement. This is Jenna Brown's second year on the team. While she and Bryce both love rodeo, they admit it comes with risks. I was in Ames, Iowa, and got my hand hung up, and uh, basically I went off the horse, hand was stuck in that rigging, and we went around the arena four or five minutes. I ended up getting my legs stepped on, which broke my arm. Um, and there's a couple scars on there, but 14 screws and a couple plates they had put in there, so. The team takes precautions to make the sport as safe as possible for the animals as well as people. Animals aren't harmed in it. We love them just as much as ourselves. Without them, we don't have a team and we really do respect them. In the spring, UNL will host its own rodeo at the Lancaster Event Center. Until then, the team travels to compete at other colleges with a ton of practice in between. I'm out here every morning and night. A lot of times we'll start around 6 o'clock in the morning and we'll practice till about 8. Then we'll go to class. And it's a lot of fun and, and like most people say about rodeo, it's an adrenaline rush that's pretty uncomparable. With Capital City Underground, I'm Joy Carey.